Hello guys, how are you today? How do you feel? Well, it is a o'clock. We will wait until a and three minutes to start this class. The agenda for today, it's so special guys, because today uh, we will have a little review about the previous classes on this week. And also we will try to prepare ourselves in order to pass uh, the exam of middle, middle, middle section three, I guess. Okay, meanwhile, I will be here waiting for you guys. Okay, guy, it's three, it's eight oh three. It's time to start. I hope that you feel well. And I'm so sorry for the guys that cannot be here, but it's time to show. Let me share my screen, guys. Okay, guys, and this week uh, we has been learning about the next aims. Just give me a second. My system is a little bit slowly. We learned about, sorry, I don't feel so good today also. We learned about uh, <clears throat> the most relative pronouns such as this, this, that, and those. And when can you use it also uh, we learn about demonstrative pronouns, how to uh, decide it for one thing. Also, we learn about how to improve our, our pronunciation with the stress words. We watch a video and we practice a lot. And also, we learn about how to express preference between two things. And right now, we will learn about how to uh, choose preference, expressing preference in more than, uh, with more than two things. Okay, before I start, I would like to ask into you guys, do you have questions about the previous aims that we are going, that we have been study in this week tiene preguntas sobre alguno de los temas que hemos visto esta semana guys muy bien su silencio me hace saber de que no señores así es que continuaremos viendo el siguiente video luego de este video haremos todos juntos este examen y Perdón, e intentaremos prepararnos para el examen intermedio de este módulo. Ahora bien, I will share my sound.
cheaper, nice, nicer, pretty, prettier, big, bigger. To express preferences in English, we may say, I prefer, I like. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. When we want to compare, we use the adjective in its comparative form. We use adjective plus er plus than. Small, smaller than. This dress is smaller than the other one. I recommend for you to study the adjectives in English in its comparative form, so you're able to compare anything you want. I also want you to work with this, cheap, old, and new. These are adjectives. Find out its comparative form and make comparative sentences using these three adjectives. Write them down in a discussion box. Okay, guys, we already, we already uh, discussed about uh, the adjectives. Write them about those adjectives, cheap and old. It's missing new. And a good example of new, it could be uh, who, who is new, Roxana, who is newer, Roxana or Teresa, who is new, newer in this class. And uh, with that sentence, I am trying to ask to you about quién es, quién entró a esta clase más reciente. An answer it could be, Teresa is newer in the class than Roxana. Right now, I would like to show you another stuff. How to express preference with more than two things. For example, I need that in the chat, please uh, write it down your age. For example, I need that everyone do that, please. Podrían todos escribir su edad en el chat, por favor. No. Perdón. Uh, ok, si no es su edad, pueden escribir um, cualquier edad que ustedes deseen. Puede ser menos de su edad o mayor, pero necesito que pongan ahí. Thank you, guys. Right now, I will ask it to you. Who is the oldest in this group? Verifiquemos. Who is the oldest? ¿Quién es el más viejo? Eso es lo que estoy preguntando. ¿Quién es el más viejo de este grupo? Who is the oldest in this group? Si vemos, Teresa plays here that he, she is 47 years old. Look at 28, 27, 29, 44, 31, 30s. Okay. In this kind of cases, in order to express who is the oldest, the best way to do it is the next one. Uh, I will use the name of other person instead of Teresa. I will place my name. Luis is. I will write down this with her capital letters. Muy bien. 
haré la explicación en español para que tengamos una idea más compleja o más completa de cómo ocupar los comparativos o los adjetivos de comparación. Muy bien. First of all, we need to add the subject. Then, the auxiliary verb. En esta oración, el auxiliary verb es verb to be. ¿Por qué? Porque estamos hablando sobre edades. Ahora, cuando van a poner... Permítame, voy a ocupar otro. Cuando voy a expresar el adjetivo de comparación, quien es mayor, voy a ocupar esto. Ahora bien, ¿cuáles son las dos claves en esto? Bueno, en este adjetivo, si se fijan, es all, pero las claves son de and est. Siempre, siempre que ustedes vayan a expresar quién es eh, la persona entre todo el grupo al cual ustedes están preguntando o refiriéndose, van a ocupar la palabra de y el est. Another example. Who is the biggest fan of Julio Iglesias? Bueno, lo escribiré como pregunta. Ahora bien, si se fijan, Aquí lleva la misma estructura, a pesar de que es una pregunta. Lleva el verbo to be. En este caso, el doble H question, que es who. ¿Por qué? Porque no sabemos quién es el más grande fan de Julio Iglesias en this class. Ahora bien. Aquí tenemos el adjetivo. Ahora les pregunto, ¿cuál es el adjetivo based from the big? So the biggest es big. Pero como solo es una sílaba, le agregamos, duplicamos la última letra y le agregamos IST. Pero nunca olvidamos de y el IST. Esto se los he puesto en mayúsculas para que lo noten. No es necesario escribirlo así. Es más, si lo escriben así en mayúsculas, esta parte es un error de ortografía o de gramática. Ahora bien. We have, oh, sorry. Here is an example. And for example, clear. Clearer. Clearest. Pueden repetir después de mí, por favor. Can you repeat after me? Clear. 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 Clearest. Clearest. Dark. 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 Darker. 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 Darkest. 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 Wise. 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 Wiser. Wiser. Wisest. Wisest. Simple. 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 Simplest. Simplest. Think. Thin. Thinner. Thinner. Thinnest. Thinnest. Fat. Fat. Fatter. Fatter. Fares. Fares. Busy. Busy. Y aquí tenemos otra regla. Si se fijan, 
Si termina en guay, ¿qué hacemos? Quitamos la guay. Y la reemplazamos por una I latina o I E R. Eso sería aquí. Pero ¿qué hay para decir quién es el más ocupado? Muy bien, hacemos lo mismo. Pero en este caso quitamos la Y y solo ponemos la I latina o I y agregamos el EST. Ahora, Mary. 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 Cuando son más, when there are more syllable, we use more. We don't use el EST o el ER. Creative, more creative, most creative. Ahora bien, ¿cuándo voy a ocupar yo el more? Cuando son dos personas. Cuando yo voy a preguntar, who is more creative, Aide or Erika? You can say something. Erika is more creative than me. Si me está respondiendo Aide. Ahora bien, si yo les pregunto a ustedes como clase, who is the most creative on this class? Your answer would be, uh, this is an example. Uh, Roxana is the most creative in this class. También, aquí está la otra regla que les intentaba explicar. De cuándo voy a duplicar la otra regla. When adjectives ending with one vowel and one consonant and are short. For example, thin and fat. Es just one syllable. En Permítame. Vamos a ver. Creo que este es. Ok. Please, guys. Play some mute. Ok. Si se fijan, adjectives ending with one vowel and one consonant. And it's just one syllable. You have to add and duplicate the last letter and add ER or EST. Ahora bien, como toda regla tenemos excepciones, señores. Y las excepciones para esta son ellas. ¿Cómo voy a decir good o entre, para poder comparar a dos personas? Better. How can I say it? Who is, quien es el mejor en inglés de un grupo? Best, the best, the worst. Es el peor. Bad es el adjetivo. Worst, el adjetivo cuando vas a hacer comparaciones entre dos personas. Worst, cuando vas a hacer en un grupo. Lo mismo con little. Little, el adjetivo. El adjetivo comparativo. Y less, es cuando vamos a comparar a entre dos personas. Less o least es cuando vamos a comparar en un grupo. Lo mismo con much, more, and most. Ahora bien. ¿Tienen dudas sobre este tema, guys? No. ¿De esos adjetivos irregulares solo, es, eh, solo esos son? ¿O solo eh, son esos? Estos son los más comunes, señorita. Eh, obviamente hay más, pero eso los iremos viendo según vayamos avanzando eh, con las clases. Pero los que más ocupamos son good, bad, little, and much. Ahora bien, en la mañana les envié este mismo documento y esta es la última página. Si quieren repasarlo, pueden hacerlo. ¿Por qué? Porque toda esta información junto con los anteriores será, los estaremos haciendo en un examen. Ahora bien, 
Es hora de practicar, guys. Y vamos a practicar haciendo este test. Las instrucciones. Who can help me to read these instructions? Bueno. Joana, can you read can you help me with this reading this, please? Joana, yeah. are you Aquí yes. estoy, teacher. Uh -huh. Intrusion. Look at the picture, develop and complete the following, following exercise using comparative adjectives. Gracias, Joana. Ahora, okay. repeat after me. Instructions. Okay. Instruction. Instruction. La, o, la U en este caso va a sonar como O. Instructions. Instruction. Look at the picture. Look at the picture. Below. Below. And complete. And complete. The following. The following. Exercise. Exercise. Using. Using. Comparative adjectives. Comparative adjectives. Perfect. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. First question. Which dress is the lay the yellow or the green one? Y se nos da. Which option, guys? Option A or option B? Option B. Uh, which dress is prettier? The yellow one or the green one? Okay. Number B. Well, the green one is silk, and silk is more expensive than or expensier than? For me, more expensive than. More expensive. More. Por qué? Why? Yeah. Yeah. Because this adjective is not a verb, guys. This adjective has more than three syllables. For that reason, it's more expensive. You are doing great, guys. Number two, A. Is this blue t-shirt the red one or the white one? Option A or option B? Y podemos ver aquí la... la the picture. Again, option A or option B? A. Option A. Thank you, guys. No, the red one and white one is more big or bigger? Bigger. ¿Qué dicen los demás? Bigger. 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 Thank you. Look at these pants. Which one do you like it? Sorry. Look at these pants. Which ones do you like? Good or better? Better. Better. <clears throat> I prefer the green cotton ones. They are... A or B? B. B. Are you sure? Is there to be? Is. B. Are you sure, guys? I need a volunteer. I need a Maybelline. Maybelline, are you there? Mabel, Maybelline, are you there? Okay. 
In this kind of cases, I will choose Raquel. Can you help me? Raquel, can you help me, please? Okay, I will choose another people. Jennifer, can you help me? For mm, me, more stylish than. No, I need your help in this. Can you pronounce these words? Uh, okay. Puede pronunciar esto, por favor? No. Uh, stylish than. You look, you pronounce well. Repeat it slowly. S stylish. S stylish. 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 How many? Mm -hmm. In ese caso? More, more stylish than. That's right. Why? Because the more S is one A. syllable. Stylish, stylish, stylish. Mm -hmm. Ahora verifiquemos. You are doing great. Okay, guys. I will give you right now five minutes to answer this assessment on your platform.
right? Did you finish, guys? Guys? Yes. 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 Perfect. Well, it's time to show. Uh, it's time. Yes. Alguien iba a decir algo? Permítame, señores, les quiero mostrar algo. Permítame. Tomorrow will be uh, the last day of the week. We already finalized in the section three, and right now we are already to the midterm exam. Just our five questions I will show you. And we don't answer this. Oh, we can answer, but I don't say anything. Just say we choose the, sorry, the options. Can you see? Pueden ver, señores? Yes. yes. Perfect. Okay, this is the midterm exam. Con este exam, examen, señor, señores, no hemos llegado a la mitad del módulo. We have already two weeks studying to get together. I know at the beginning it was a little bit hard, but right now I am so proud of you because you are so great students. For that reason, I will help into you a little bit because it's necessary that you did this assessment by yourself. Just I will read the instruction, I will play, and after that, you have to tell me or discuss uh, between you, which is the answer. I will listen, I will read the instruction. Instruction, listen to the conversation and select the correct answer. Lucy, Michael, and Sylvie are talking. Listen and check the correct answers. Good morning, Michael. Hi, Lucy. How's it going? Pretty good, thanks. How about you? Great. Hey, who's your friend? This is Sylvie Marceau. She's from Canada. Hi, Sylvie. Nice to meet you. I'm Michael Morse. Hi, Michael. It's good to meet you, too. I'm sorry, Sylvie, but what's your last name again? Oh, it's Marceau. How do you spell that? M-A-R-C-E-A-U. I see. So you're from Canada. Are you from Toronto? No, I'm from Montreal. Where are you from, Michael? I'm from Chicago. You know, Sylvie and I are in the same chemistry class this semester. Oh, really? Yeah. And what do you do, Michael? Are you a student here too? Yes, I am. Lucy and I are in the same math class. Oh. Is your class interesting? Yes, it is. It's very interesting. And the teacher is really good. By the way, he's from Canada too. <laughs> really? Listen, I'm on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Sure. Let's go and get some coffee. Okay, Sylvie? Sounds great. Okay, guys, I believe in you. I know that you can answer those questions because you have a good active listening. Okay, Sylvie is Lucy's friend. Michael. Yes. Right now, Sylvie's last name is Marcel. Marcel. This one or this one? Another. Lucy's math teacher is. Very interesting. And then and the other ones, what do you say? 
very interesting. Okay. We will believe on Sandra. They okay. are all. Uh -huh. They are all in the cafeteria. Cafeteria. No sé cómo cafeteria. You, you, you pronounce well, Sandrita. You said cafeteria is cafeteria. That's the real cafeteria. pronunciation. Cafeteria. Okay. All of them are. In the cafeteria. And the other ones? In the same school. What? In the same school? Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. It's time to, to the part B. Listen carefully, guys. Anne and Ben are talking in a clothing store. Listen and check the correct answers. Hey, those shirts look nice. What do you think, Ben? Yeah, Anne, they do look nice. I really like the blue ones, and the green ones are nice too. Which ones do you prefer? I think I like the green ones better. They're very stylish. Oh, but look at the price. $41. That's expensive. The blue ones are only $29. That's more reasonable. But they're polyester. The green ones are made of better material. They're cotton. Say, Ben, what size are you? Small or medium? I wear a medium. But there aren't any medium ones in blue. They're all large or small. Okay, guys, Ben's preferred the green shirt. The blue t the blue shirt are forty-one. Twenty twenty-nine. Okay. Okay, vamos a hacerlo ahora esto de democráticamente. Levanten las manos. ¿Quién dice 41? Hay una opción allí. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver. And the other ones. Okay. Are four people that says 41. Who uh, raise your hands if you say 21, so 29, $29. Two, three, four. <laughs> we are match. Estaban empatados. Ahora bien. Down your hands and raise your hands. Who, who would like to choose $25? Okay. Um, this one, because you are match, o sea, te han empatados, vamos a preguntarle a alguien que no haya levantado la mano. And that person would be Tania. Tania, are you there? Tania, are you there? Okay, thank you. Thank you for your participation, Tania. Okay, I will choose someone else. Mm. Okay, I will choose this one. The green shear are made of polyester. Okay, let me play again the video. Cotton. 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 Okay, I, I will play a second time the video and pay attention one more time.
Yo no lo puedo escuchar. I don't listen video. Ahorita. Ah. Lo siento, guys. My bad. I will play the video one more time. Just give me a second. I need to choose something. Yes. Anne and Ben are talking in a clothing store. Listen and check the correct answers. Hey, those shirts look nice. What do you think, Ben? Yeah, Anne, they do look nice. I really like the blue ones, and the green ones are nice too. Which ones do you prefer? I think I like the green ones better. They're very stylish. Oh, but look at the price. $41. That's expensive. The blue ones are only $29. That What happened? Ok, guys. Al parecer tenemos un technical issues con el audio, pero pudieron escuchar que es 29. Yes. Ok. In this kind of cases, if you don't know how to pronounce a word, we have a special tool that can help us to everybody. And this is Google Translate. Listen. Polyester. Repeat after the, the audio. Polyester. 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 Okay, it's the green t the green shirt are made of polyester, silk, or cotton. Polyester. And Ben size is medium. Okay, it's time to verify the answer, guys. Mm, we have a mistake. Mm -hmm. Cotton. It's a cotton. Cotton. Es que antes se dice que es polyester y luego dice que es algo. Muy bien, vamos a aclarar eso muy bien la camisa azul está hecha de poliéster pero la camisa verde está hecha de coro ¿por qué? porque la verde cuesta más 41 dólares for that reason is that and here we have another mistake here guys Lucy's math teacher is ultra good really good like what? Is that one? Muy bien, guys. La respuesta de este test no dejaré que las copien. No dejaré que lo. <coughs> Sorry. No dejaré que lo hagan a la misma vez que yo. Y si lo hicieron, pues qué bueno. Ahorita les daré para que hagan este test cinco minutos o diez minutos les daré. En diez minutos we will come back. You have ten minutes to finalize that test. Also, I would like to tell you something. Que, eh, who, who has question about the previous aims? Because I remember that I told you guys that today we are going to answer those doubts or questions that you have about the previous aims. ¿Alguien tiene dudas o preguntas sobre los temas anteriores? No, teacher. Are you sure? Estamos aquí para contestarlo. Tenemos este día y el día de mañana. Muy bien. Comienza sus 10 minutos ahorita. Respondan ese test. Thank 
qué estás hablando? Teacher, I have a question. Yes, let me know. But in the next topic, mm -hmm. in part two, mm -hmm. uh, uh, what is the present simple? Is, are, and is. Uh, can you share your screen, please? Uh, Oh, perfect. Okay, which part? Part two, instruction, complete the following conversation with simple present. Instruction, complete this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Es que intenté con is, intenté con ar, y ahorita estoy sí, intentando. Sí, a mí me pasa con... lo mismo. Lo que pasa es que están no acu... no Muy bien. Muy bien, guys. Eh, para comenzar, están ocupando contracciones. Y recuerden... No, yo solo escribí is y are y también no me da. Uh -huh. Vaya. Para comenzar... La primera no es verbo to be. This one is... Let me, let me try to, to write it down there. Excuse me a second. Uh, Intentaré. Double -edge no, eh, sí tiene que ver doble edge question, pero recuerden. Ayer hicimos ejercicios de, con esta pregunta. Word aquí es otro auxiliar que lo hemos visto. Ahorita solo hemos visto el be y el do or does. Procure escribir cualquiera de esos ahí sin contracción. Y recuerde algo, algo que le va a servir. Le está preguntando, no si estás trabajando, sino que... ¿Dónde? Uh -huh. Come on, guys, you can do it. You can do it. I will stop this and I will show you a picture right now. I will, show, I, will show, I will show you a picture right now. Just give me a second. It's not here. Maybe it's here. In, in the first. In a, mm -hmm. Espérame, creo que aquí lo puse. No, no está aquí. Déjeme abrir otro documento, señores. Uh -huh. I will share my screen about that aims. This one. Aquí tienen una idea. Con el auxiliar tú. Maybe. I don't know right now. I el forgot. Go, go. Right go. now. 
right now because it's this exam. I already forgot all the aims that I taught you. Los he olvidado, no me recuerdo. It's time to your exam, guys. You can do it together, but forget myself. Where do you work? Also, guys, remember you can use all the pictures that I already sent in to you on the group. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, guys. Just two minutes more. Just one minute. Faltan cuatro minutos. Pero para hacer el examen, solo uno, porque los últimos tres los ocuparemos para discutir.
time. Okay, guys, it's time. If you already finish, good for you. If you don't finish yet, also, you have time, but after the class. Right now, yep. let me tell you. Yes, go ahead, Aide. I finished, teacher. Cool, congrats. Class for you. Who else finished this test? Mm -hmm. ¿Quién más terminó el test? Finish. Sandrita, claps for you. Someone else? Somebody else? Finish. Me faltó una, teacher. <laughs> Dele. Aún tienen, eh, bueno, yo tomo estos tres minutos para poder conversar con ustedes. Después de la clase pueden seguir. A mí me falta el de los tiempos. Perfecto. Tiempo. Muy bien, guys. Eh, recuerden, todo, todo lo que está en los exámenes está en los documentos que les he enviado y a la misma vez todas las imágenes. Por eso les pregunto, si tienen dudas o consultas, háganmelas saber. Estamos ahorita para poderlas solventar. Por eso les pregunté antes del examen, porque en los momentos de los exámenes me da amnesia y no me recuerdo de nada. Así que, eh, ¿tienen dudas o preguntas antes de, eh, de terminar esta clase? No. Ok, guys. Congratulations. You have been finish this lesson three. Right now, for tomorrow, I will send it to you some extra activities in order to have a big activity tomorrow. Tomorrow we will practice that we already learned in those two weeks. En español, le voy a enviar mañana actividades relacionadas a una gran actividad que haremos. Mañana haremos eh, una actividad que nos va a incluir a todos para que todos participemos, incluyendo todos los temas. Don't be afraid. If you need help in that moment, yes, I will help to you because it's not an exam. Bye bye, guys. Have a wonderful night and thank you for being here. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.